Hello everyone. Good to see you today. I am overjoyed to be streaming once again tonight. Uh, this is lovely. We are playing more Pokemon Platinum. Oh, it just turned 7 o'clock, so uh, the nighttime filter just turned on on our game. Um, it is no longer the sunset filter. Um, how's everybody doing? I'm doing great. Um, had, uh, I mean, I had kind of a long day at school today, but you know, it's all right. We're here. We're living. Um, if you recall, last time we were here, we just saw this guy blow up the Great Marsh, essentially. So now we are giving chase after we defeated Crasher Wake. Um, at the gym. And if we want to have a little team recap here, we got Pikachu, the Vaporeon. Uh, we got Blizzard, Quick Attack, Sand Attack, Growl. Hot to go, our newest team member, the Croagunk, who was the hero of that gym, uh, of that gym match. I encourage you to watch it. Um, we have Breakfast, the Togetic. We have Skitter, the Pachirisu, who just learned Discharge. We have Autumn, the Grotal. Um, Karen the Houndoom with that powerful fire blast, and that is it. Um, great. So now we're going to talk to this guy, and he's just like, stop chasing after, after me, will you? I've, I, uh, I've half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon, but I have to be on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky. I'm out. Ooh, and he's like, don't you dare follow me. I'm going to the lake. And that just makes me want to follow him, so we're going to follow him. Uh, let's see who we got in here. <laughs> Brody, it is a terrorist. That is why we need to give chase to him. And let's see what else he says. We needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific and mechanical genius. Wow, it's nice logical reasoning from this grunt. Grah, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. So then he runs away even more. And now we're just going to chase him even more. Um... Oh, let's see, I'm running into rocks, he's getting away. Oh, there he is. Oh, this Galactic Bomb packs, packs a pretty big wallop. With this baby here, there's not much we can't blow up. All right, so he is just thinking out loud. <laughs> he literally says that. Um, and of course, this, oh, here's Looker. Hi, you're a little late, buddy. Um, ah, yes, the cargo was a bomb and there was an explosion and the explosion was at the Great Marsh. So, we're informing Looker that we are pursuing this man. He's like, oh, how did I miss it? Oh. Yeah, Looker is just a fun, silly guy. So he's going to chase this guy, too. Um, we bomb because we can. There is logic. Hey, Brody, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, so, Looker is talking to this guy at the hotel, and he's interviewing some people. So he's just like, hey, you go on up ahead. And I'll just stay here. Like I said, Looker is not in um, the original Diamond and Pearl, so he's kind of like shoehorned into Platinum here. Um, pant, pant. Oh, why am I running away like this? That new world, a new universe that our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it. When we use this thing... Oh, you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. I'm pooped from all the running, but I'm not going to battle you. <laughs> I always really liked that. So he's super tired from running away, and then he's just like, crap, man, I just can't run anymore. I just gotta fight you. You wonder why he didn't in the first place, but here we are. Mm. Crow -gunk. Um, Let's see, why is he asking people who are <laughs> not in the city of the crime? Brody, you're asking the big questions again. Ah, our... Um, Blizzard have, has proven to be most inaccurate. Uh, we definitely don't want to hit him with any water moves. Um, this is a fighting type, however, so let's go into breakfast. Oh, hello! Hi, Arena! Yes, you've been uh, subscribed for five months. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, so let's... Oh, yeah. Just a one-shot fly. We good, we good. Um... Is that all he's got? He's just got the one Croagunk. Nothing much going for this guy. 
Um, oh, I am so great. How are you? Um, excuse me. I was just saying how my week has been kind of long. Um, but I am happy that it's Thursday now. Um, ooh. Here Cynthia shows up. She's like, oh, hi. How's it going, man? Um, how's my egg that I gave you hatched and everything? Um, so she's going to research about the lake. But... Um, she says that there's an island in the lake, and inside that lake is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. Um, and here comes GCG, here to just kind of ruin the day. Um, and he's talking about the Great Mars Explosion. He said it wasn't too serious. Wake told us to tell him that. Um, but back to what Cynthia was telling us. <laughs> that he's very impatient. Um, she is going to tell us about the group of Psyduck on Route 210. If you recall, that is just north of Selassian Town. And that Psyduck is kind of huddled there. They're not moving. And she says they have a really, really, really bad headache. So she gives us the secret potion, which I will point out is the same secret potion that the guy in uh, Seanwood City gave to us in the Johto game so we could heal Jasmine's Ampharos at the lighthouse, which is super cool. Or Cyan Wood? I never know how to say it. Anyway, it's awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, you're off work today, Arena. That's amazing. I love that. Um, that is super great. I am excited that tomorrow's Friday. I can say that for my, uh, for sure, rather. <laughs> you get nervous about uh, and hear boss music when you see Cynthia. I get that. Um, all right, I don't think you can do any battles at the cafe when it is closed. So now we're kind of um, in a section of the game where we're really trekking um, and running around the region. There's a lot of travel here. Um, so where do I need to go? Well, first off, I want to pop down here. We can maybe fight some of these trainers. Um, because we're probably going to need a few more levels. Even though this part of the route is crazy annoying to go through. Um, let's see. <laughs> hey, dude, I never tire of Johto references. Uh, Johto references are what I live for. Whoa, you have not yet played Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. I highly recommend it, Arena. Um, Diamond and Pearl are famously flawed. Um, but Platinum fixes a lot of those things, a lot of those flaws. Um, and that's, you know, something that people kind of famously say. And I agree. Um... But yes, I highly, highly recommend Platinum, especially so you can play Legends Arceus if you haven't. Um, because playing Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum will give you um, really good context to play um, Legends Arceus. Um, <laughs> BD, I mean, you could play BDSP. I don't hate BDSP. Um, it didn't... Uh, include a lot of the Platinum stuff that I thought they should have included. But, um, it did, uh, it did make some improvements. Um, and I, and you can play it on the Switch and everything. Obviously, it's a, a bigger, uh, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm running out of words. Um, I lost it, but, <laughs> oh, you played Legends Arceus. Okay, okay. Um, very, very cool. So, yeah, I mean, playing, uh, Generation 4... Oh my gosh, guys, I am not paying enough attention here. Um, yes, you are so right, Brody. They do have, like, kind of a hardcore competitive team in BDSP, which is really nice. Um, but... Um, yes, I'm so glad that you've played Legends Arceus, because I love that game. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of speed up. And we got that big Groot on Autumn, of course. 
Oh, and I don't think we've seen Luxio yet. Luxio is the evolved form of Shinx, if you recall, from uh, the early parts of the game. And Autumn just fainted, which annoys me greatly. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, perfect. All right. Not perfect, though, because my team is dying. Yeah, I do want to show off some of this route. Oh, fourth, fifth, seventh, and eighth. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen you play a little bit of uh, X and Y, which is cool, um, Gen 6. Um, let's see, what do I have to say about all of those games? Um... I don't have a cut Pokemon, so I'm not going to hop up there quite yet. Um, Gen 4, I obviously really love. I'm playing it as we speak. Specifically Platinum. I would recommend Platinum. I think it's the best way to experience it, but um, Diamond and Pearl are both still cool. Um, did you get to 29? Yes, you did. Um, Gen 5. I think is not bad. Um, I wouldn't say that at all. I think they might be a titchel overrated for me because um, I know they're very well loved. Um, part of that is probably just because of the time that I kind of fell off with the series. Um, and I feel like a lot of people my age have that. I wonder if there's any items in the mud. Um, there might be but I really don't feel like digging around in the mud because it's crazy annoying. Because you gotta do that. There we go. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, let's fight this lady. Um, Gen 7, I think, is one of the most overhated generations of all time. I love Generation 7, specifically the original Sun and Moon. I really like the... Uh, tutorial sections are cumbersome to some people, but I feel like their annoyance is over-exaggerated. Um, and of course, Hot To Go is just using that dry skin, baby. It is just killing all of these water types. Uh, I just like interactive movies. I mean, hey, if you are gonna stick around for some games that we're gonna play later on in this channel's life. Uh, you might not be wrong. Um, but Sun and Moon I really like. I, I think the original Sun and Moon has a really cool story. Um, and then what else? You said Gen 8. Uh, Gen 8 I don't love. Gen 8 is one of my least favorite gens, I would say. Um, you know, your mileage may vary, but, um, oh, you're not a Gen 7 lover, but you, ah, yes. I mean, there was a lot of cool stuff going on in Gen 7. Um, if you haven't played it, Arena, I won't really tell you. Um, Mud Bomb, I don't know. I feel like I like the dark coverage and I like being able to confuse people. Um, I don't know if Croagunk is gonna use Mud Bomb too much. Could come in handy. We don't have a ground move yet. Yeah, I'll get rid of Swagger. I don't really like raising their attack that much anyway. Um, <laughs> I mean, maybe, bro. I mean, it won't be the whole... That's what I'm saying, Brody. You're part of the problem. I mean, you're fine. I don't really care. Um, but... Hmm. Uh, Babero. Oh, happy Thursday. Hello, Loctest. Thanks for being here. Um, happy Thursday to you, too. Are we slower than this? Yes, we are. Um, so revenge should do a lot if we don't flinch. And we do flinch, and I'm pretty sure that was my fault for even saying anything. Oh my gosh, guys. Dry skin. Oh, thank you, Babarrel. Just healing us back. I really feel like... I never knew about this. I feel like the, um... The, whatchamacallit, the AI just doesn't know how to deal with this ability. Um, that's crazy. 
Um, I forget who's here. Oh, Shards wanted Pokemon moves taught. Um, I do remember this. I don't know what moves he teaches. Um, let's just say hot to go. Ah, so this guy gives us a nice little selection of moves here. Fury Cutter, Icy Wind, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Vacuum Wave, which is a fighting type move, Knock Off, Sucker Punch. We got a nice little array here. Um, I will keep this in mind, and we might be able to come back here and teach somebody uh, a really sick move. Um, I feel pretty good for now, especially because um, I just I need to think about what our move sets are going to be <laughs> more. Uh, before I do something like that. Um, let's see. Ah, yes, that's true. Um, you see, in this game, there is only one shiny stone, which is how we are going to be able to evolve Breakfast here. Um, but that's also how you evolve Roselia. Oh, we don't want this for the fisherman. That's actually how you evolve Roselia into um, Roserade as well. So, there we go. Excuse me. So if you wanted to play um, both of those Pokemon in a playthrough, you would have to kind of choose between them. Hmm. Should have known we'd see a Gyarados here. So we will swap into Skitter. Ooh, the rain is scary, though. Ah, no, it's not. Thunder will never hit, uh, never miss in the rain, rather. Okay, good thing we're faster. Because that Dragon Rage would have knocked us out, if not. Um, Alright, so let's take care of these fishermen. Um, perfect. Dude, the dry skin is just... It is incredible. I love it. I should uh, have like a rain-based team at this point. Just so I can really utilize hot to go. Maybe maybe I'll teach uh, Vaporeon Rain Dance at some point, so we can so we can utilize that more. Um, yeah, we are gonna replace Skitter. I it's just it's just one of those things. It's just uh, one of those things where Pachirisu just isn't gonna be too terribly useful for the whole of our playthrough. Um, so we're just gonna get rid of it. And of course, that barboach there is um, ground and water, so Grottle's going to be smoking it. And of course, our thunder can't miss in the rain against the Gyarados, as we did, as we discussed. All right, what we got now? Another barboach. Um. So once I kind of take care of some of these trainers here. I, I won't fight all the trainers on this route. We'll, we'll explore this route a little bit later because um, it connects all the way up to Heart Home City. And um, let's do this. Oh, I should just use Mega Drain. Um, it goes all the way up to Heart Home City, and we'll explore more of this route. There's just like a million trainers on it, um, and I don't want to spend this entire stream fighting those trainers. We can progress through the story a little bit. Um, um, we'll go back to them. But some of the trainers that we might encounter could maybe give us a little, little trouble. Um, um, oh, yes, that's true, Brody. Um, for those of you that don't know, Apachirisu was on a team that won like a VGC uh, World Championship, which VGC is like the competitive Pokemon video game um, kind of tournament. Um, and, yeah, I don't really remember the context of that. I do remember hearing that, though. Ooh, here's Umbreon. Everyone's favorite evolution. Um, and that is fine, because we have a fighting type here. There we go. Heal some of that off. Oops. And here is Espeon, my favorite evolution personally. Um, which is an absolutely horrific matchup for our friend, um, hot to go um, who's got a four times weakness. So let's go to Karen. Mm. Let's do it. That's annoying. So we have the Razor Fang on Karen, um, 
because that will increase the chance that a move will f uh, flinch our opponent. And that could be great for, we'll just use Pikachu here. Um, honestly, a quick attack probably won't knock it out, so I'm just going to try to hit it with a blizzard. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So now we can utilize some of these log bike puzzles here. Pick up this TM for Silverwind. I don't know if we're really going to be able to utilize that. Um, let's see. Yeah, if we are able to surf and use cut... Um, we're gonna have a better shot at getting some of these items. I'm not too terribly fussed um, about getting all of them right now. Let's see. What else can you find around here? Oh, a shallow, so that makes sense. There's another cut tree. Um, I feel like there's gotta be some items through here. Um... Here I'm saying I'm not going to fight all these people, but here I am fighting all these people. Oh, I thought that uh, police officer was going to fight us there. There we go. Yes, Hot Dog is a permanent uh, member, Brody. Um, so I think my plan is I will go up to Heart Home. I just won't fight all of the traitors. Um... Kadabra. Ooh, Karen. Perfect matchup. Let's do it. Oh, I did not mean to use beat up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a bite would have killed it. Ah, oh, great. I guess that was a blessing in disguise. Okay. So we can defeat that guy. Full heals are always nice. So as you can see, it just kind of continues into kind of like a rainy, marshy mess um, in this route. Um, ooh, we have a fun double battle. We can do that. And there is a blue shard, so in case we want to go back to that guy and learn some of those cool moves. I just feel like there's got to be a hidden item here somewhere. Um, so let's just say, just in case these people are atypically tough, because sometimes they kind of... You get some of these, like, ace trainer double battles, and they can be a little bit... A little bit much. Oh, no, these are park rangers, rather. So we're doing all right. Um, so we're gonna double up the Meryl. There we go, a definite flinch. And then we can quick attack you. Perfect. Um, Fire Blast is going to be weakened in the rain, but I'm, I'm burying the lead here. Um, this is Leafeon. We have not seen Leafeon yet. This is a new evolution for Generation 4. As you can tell, it is a grass-type evolution. They added two in Generation 4. They added Leafeon, the grass-type, and they added Glaceon, the ice-type. We were able to get Leafeon in Eterna Forest by leveling up an Eevee around that grassy rock that I showed you all. Um, we, of course, didn't have Eevee at that point in time, and we went with Vaporeon instead, but... Leafeon, super cool, really cool Pokemon. Um, all right, and we can Blizzard both of them, so let's see what happens. Um, I, I'm curious to see how much this is gonna do in the rain. Oh, it, all, it still almost knocks it out. Um, and of course, Pikachu doesn't avoid it. All right, we are able to hit the Blizzard, so we're still doing okay. Um, I'm going to go for the double bite again. All right. So now the quick attack, we're going to be fine. And there it is. So some of you might be wondering why I'm not using my brine TM on Vaporeon, um, considering that we're lacking a water move. I don't know, man. I feel like we are about to get a, excuse me, a different grass move. There's kind of some weird lines on my screen. 
with those little green shrubs around there. Very weird. Um, ah. Oh, I think one of those shrubs has an item in it. Where is it? This one. An Ultra Ball. Lovely. Um... Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Because we, I think we're about to get the move Surf, if memory serves. So, um, we'll just use that. And I'll save Brian in case we need it. We might not even use it. So, here, we are coming up on this estate. And I'm going to wait for this police officer to run by in case he fights us. So, here we have the kind of Pokemon Palace. I forget what it's called. Um, it's like a mansion. And in the back of this mansion, there is a garden. And in the garden, you can find some specific Pokemon. Will they let us go back here? Yes, this is the trophy garden. And in the trophy garden, in the back of this mansion, you can find some interesting or rare Pokemon. For instance, you can find Pikachu. And as you can see, the female has a little notch in its tail. Another one of those... Uh, male female variants I was talking about earlier and there's also um Eevee back here you can catch Eevee I'm pretty sure you can catch Pichu as well so this place is is super cool um and we may or may not try to catch a few Pokemon back here later um I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce for now because there's that Roselia in a fancy trophy garden. Makes sense. A double battle there that we're gonna just skip for now. Get this. All right, I'm gonna try to skip this double battle. Um, there are a lot of HMs in this game. Obviously we can use the move cut, but I am just, uh, let's see. There we go. I just wanted to skip them. And we can come back for a lot of these items. Have a lot of police officers around. So now we've made it all the way back up. All the way back up to that route. And as you can see, this links us back to Heart Home City. We weren't able to go south earlier in our playthrough, but we were able to... Um, come back up through to Heart Home once we go through Pastoria. So, the, you know, the game kind of routes us that way. That's how games work often. All right. So we can get to the next portion of our journey. Let's do this. We'll pop over to Selassian Town. Oh, sorry. Uh, only four more months and you're one years old and then 17 <laughs> years until you drive. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, Brody, I don't know if I mentioned the Hot2Go thing either. Um, Hot2Go is a permanent team member. I'm really excited about it. I am going to grab Inclusion um, because we are going to need Inclusion's Defog. As far as the Pokemon I'm going to bench, for now, for now it might be a good idea to bench Croagunk. Hmm. I'm just thinking about some of the trainers we might encounter on this next route, and I think Croagunk might not be a bad idea. And we are at level 30 with her, so um, we'll give her just a little breather. because I don't think her moves are going to be as imperative for us. So now, we have reached the Psyduck. It says the Psyduck are standing firm. They aren't inclined to move. Would you like to use the secret potion? And again, I just love this Generation 2 reference. The same potion that we used at the lighthouse for Ampharos, we can use on these Psyduck here in Generation 4. And they're cured of their chronic headache. And then... <laughs> have this cute little scene where they all just run away and they leave that one behind. Oh no! <laughs> Perfect. Lovely! And here's Cynthia! 
Hey, Cynthia. She's happy to know that we used the secret potion. And what she wants us to do, she has this old charm, and she wants to take it, wants us to take it to Celestic Town. Um, and on this journey to Celestic Town, we are going to have to use Defog to clear the fog out. And it's going to be really nice when we do, because fog is so annoying. There we go. Alright, thanks, Cynthia. So, yes, I have Karen first. One thing I want to point out, this patch of grass is the spot in the game where you can catch Scyther, which is super cool. As you can see, the levels aren't quite up to snuff yet, but they are going to jump up um, here in a second once we get to the right area. Ah, Ponyta, of course. Um, there's got to be some items in here. I would guess. I don't know what you see. Let's do it Is this correct? Yes. Um, we have some, uh, ninja boys hiding in the grass, just like we have in Generation 3. It is lovely. Ninja boy Brennan. Just being a little nuisance. Bite should do us here. Mean look, don't care. Um, Skaroopy is gonna be pretty good for breakfast because this is a part bug type. So we're gonna use that fly to hopefully knock it out. Ooh, took that surprisingly well, actually. Um, <laughs> Brody again, never out of hand for me. Never out of hand for me. All right. So let's see, we could fight all of these ninja boys. There's, as he said, there is a, there's a trio. One of the ninja trio being discovered means I must battle. Um, Crowagunk, that is, actually we're gonna swap. And that's very annoying, because I really wanted to use Fly. And when you're confused, using Fly, a two-turn move, is annoying. But that attack bump is really going to help us knock it out with Return. Oh my gosh, guys. That was the most annoying thing in the world. Um, let's just use... We'll just use Inclusion. Um, that's all right. We have a, a nice, super effective move in Wing Attack. Gosh, Staravia is so good. I might be silly for not using it. And now that we lost, excuse me, now that we lost breakfast, I'm probably just going to pop back to Selassian Town really quick and heal the squad. There we go. That was my phone, in case you heard a buzz. All right. So we should still have enough time to make it to, oops, had to switch gears on my bike, to make it to Celestic Town like Cynthia wants us to. Um, I might have missed the first ninja and I'm, oh no, there he is. Is there something down here? I always feel like there's something. Ah, yes. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so maybe we gotta fight this ninja boy to get it. Perfect. One fire blast and we're golden. Oh, go up, there we go. Yes, so it's right here. Oh, nice, another ultra ball. A lot of these hidden ultra balls about. So as we step up past this tree line here, we are met with the dense, dense fog. And this is really the part of the game that you really want defog. We used it in the last, in the Lost Tower. Um, but now that we've made it to this route, it is just so nice to just get rid of it. 
uh, because again, it can lower your accuracy. It can make some of these fights a complete nightmare and they can be kind of tough to begin with. So go defog. All right, ah, saving a lot of data. We are in the 17th hour in terms of in-game time, um, which is exciting. Fight this. Ah, oh, no, this is, he is not a fighting, a fighting trainer. Uh, we have another ninja boy popping out of the sand. Popping out of the grass, I should say. Ooh, Golbat. Let's go Skitter. Um, Skitter is going to be very useful, I think, for a trainer that we're going to encounter later. I would have kept Skitter in the box, um, especially considering that we... Uh, whatchamacallit, would like to continue to train Croagunk, but we're just going to really need that um, electric stab. Um, Scroopy. Uh, we'll do inclusion this time. I got to make sure we heal that poison after this fight. Loves to raise that with acupressure. Perfect. All right. Ninja Boy Noel. So let's heal this off. I did sell all my antidotes like kind of a fool, but we have a ton of full heals. We're fine. Um, let's see. We'll keep using our super repels. We could use a um, cut to avoid this grass, but we got repels. We're fine. Alright, let's see what you've got. Ah, Apom. Ooh, and a no shockwave. How interesting. Um, I don't know if Fly... Fly probably won't do more, actually. I don't know why I tried it. Yeah. Um... There we go. We'll just take you out with breakfast. Giraffe rig. That's great. I meant to swap Karen back to the front. Because um, Karen's really who we're training right now. And then Grodel. This is fine. We'll just stay in and pop it with a, a fire blast. And then, boom, baby. Houndoom is very good, guys. If you're playing Pokemon Platinum, like Arena, if you decide that you want to play this game and you get yourself... Okay, so we can't... Can we go up there? No, not yet. I think we might need Rock Climb to get some of those items. So, if you are playing this game and you need a Fire Pokemon, Houndoom is a great choice. Again, another perfect 50 on the old... Um, super Potion. Right, I think that's going to be a good starting team. I actually don't remember. Maybe Skitter would be better? Let's try that. Um, so I'm going to save here because this double battle that we're about to have is kind of infamous for me. These two uh, ace trainers kind of running around. I When I tried to fight these two in the fog, specifically. This was always a very tough fight for me. I'm pretty sure they have a Raichu and a Gyarados. Um, I'm not positive, but we will see. They do have a Raichu and a Gyarados. Um, this was a nightmare in the fog, because as, as you can see, we're a little bit underleveled, and we had the added hurdle of maybe being able to miss them. It was a nightmare. I hated this fight. And it might still be bad. Who knows? Um... Yes, that is exactly right, Arena. Um, in uh, Diamond and Pearl specifically, there is literally the Fire-type starter and Ponyta. That is literally it for Fire-type Pokemon. But here in Platinum, they do um, add Eevee in the game, so you can get a Flareon. They do also add Houndour, so you can get a Houndoom. It's still pretty limited, but they do give you more options. Um, and then Autumn here. Let's just... 
I'm gonna use Mega Drain, so hopefully we don't die. Tail Whip works, but we'll see. Ice Fang, I thought it might know Ice Fang. Don't kill me, it killed me. But Thunder is great to see. Um, mm, let's see what we can do here. We're not gonna have a great time. I will go ahead and lower their attack with Staravia. Obviously, Staravia is not great. It's gonna get knocked out by Ice Fang or a Thunderbolt from Raichu. And unfortunately, if you look here, Discharge is a pretty good move, but one thing you sacrifice is in a double battle, you can hit your, um, your partner on your side of the field as well. You hit all the Pokemon on the field. Um, so we're not going to use that. We're going to go for another Thunder on the Gyarados. And I'll just try to get a little chip damage on Raichu. <sighs> yeah. It's going to rain down Thunderbolts on Inclusion and just destroy, destroy her. Sorry. Sorry, Inclusion. Um, all right, we'll see here. All right, we good. So the Gyarados goes down. Um, it is kind of a, tra a tragedy that uh, Skitter was the only Pokemon who got experience there, but um, we should be pretty good now. We can do a few things. I'll go ahead and do a Fire Blast. All right. Oh yeah, we're good to go now. So as you can see, that fight's still pretty tough. Um, those are two kind of more powerful Pokemon than we're used to seeing. Um, I'm trying to figure out... Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that so soon. Oh, no. Um, I was going to go back to the center, but maybe I could just, um, revive our friend, Grodel. And here's Scyther. We haven't seen Scyther yet. I was saying we can kind of catch Scyther on this route nearby. Love that we got a paralysis from... Discharge, and we can use Skitter to take it out. Part flying type, Scyther. Luxio, this is where Grodel would rock. But we're going to have to go to Karen here. Um, we only have two more Fire Blasts, so we don't really want to waste those. Probopass. Mm. Okay. Um, not looking awesome. Let's stay in with Karen, actually. Probopass is the evolved form of Nosepass. It is another one of those cross-gen evolutions that we've talked about. It's obviously very silly. It looks kind of like those fake glasses or like Eugene Levy or something. Um, it is adorable. I actually like it a lot. It's kind or it's like a woolly willy. You know, where you kind of take the shavings of metal and put it wherever you want on its face. And that's kind of the point, is that the mustache is like metal shavings, um, which I think is actually pretty cool. It's not actually a mustache. Um, it's neat. I think Probopass is... It's, it's okay. I think it's one of those ones that's a little overhated. Over -hated. And it's going to wreck us right now. Um... Okay, I just let Karen go down. Blizzard's not going to do a ton, but we don't have many good options right now. Of course, we're paralyzed. Let's keep doing it. Okay, how about Bite? Again, not going to not going to be great. Oh boy. I don't want to lose Pikachu here. There we go. Skitter the Almighty. All right, now I'm definitely going to go back to the center because we hurtin'. Um, especially because I was just not ready for that. All right, please hold. We will make it to Cel uh, Celestic Town in due course. And that's kind of one of those things where, you know, I think we have like 10 revives. We could have used all of our revives if we really wanted to, but I didn't really want to. And sometimes that's all there is to it. Um, we will use another repel. I have a max repel down here. 
All right, so now we're back in the fog. You can kind of see where that ninja boy was sitting there. Um, so let's make our way back. I'll definitely get rid of this fog again. Right now, actually. Perfect. There you have it. There's a waterfall down there, so um, that tells you that we're definitely going to have waterfall again in this playthrough. And we're... Oh, I literally didn't even see you there. Um, that was annoying. Mothim, of course. Oh, I didn't want Skitter in the front. Guys, sometimes... Sometimes... I just think to myself, dude, you're boofing it right now. And today is one of those times. Coming, to, coming through this route. We've had a lot of travel here in this uh, episode, which isn't they, which aren't they aren't always my favorite episodes, but I'm pretty sure we can pick up a good TM here. And this is Croagunk. All right, I'll come back. Um, I forgot that we taught Croagunk Rock Smash. And now we gotta go across the bridge. We have a fighter here, so let's. So fly isn't ideal for a choke. It does enough damage though. Oh my goodness. That vital throw almost destroyed us. You hate to see it. But that's okay. We made it. Um that was, that was funny. All right, we got another ninja boy. I'll fight him in a second because I'm going to come back with rock smash. Nope, we're not flying away. We're not flying away. We're almost there. And I don't know what she's got. So I'll try to go unprepared. Ah, so she's just a bird keeper. She has the same kind of uh, overworld sprite as a ace trainer, so I was a little bit worried. Um, I'll just stay in on a knockdown. Ugh, Gen 2, baby. I love knockdown. Let's try that again. One more, please. Do you guys remember the time where we missed all five blizzards? Missed all five, every single one. And now we're completely out, which is okay. We'll survive. Um, oh yes, we have a veteran here. Um, we'll start with Karen. Okay, good. We didn't have to fight him. Okay, here we are in Celestic Town. Celestic Town is a cool, very, like, um old town, very uh, traditional town, and this here old lady is saying that there's this odd spaceman saying he's gonna blow up the town, and she's just like, oh, if only I were younger. Well, guess what, lady? We are gonna punish him for you, but not right now. We're gonna heal the squad first. Um, great. All right, we can still accomplish some stuff here this episode. I'm excited. Um, uh, fine. I'm going to deposit Pachirisu for now. Um, and we're going to withdraw Crow Gunk. And we are going to fight some of these trainers. Where are my buttons at? We're going to fight some of these trainers that we skipped. Um, and of course, we're still going to use Defog here. Lovely. I'll fight this fellow. This old fellow. Very nice old man. Oh, Tangela. Very nice for a Houndoom. Love to see it. Um, Weasel. That's very good for a hot to go. Mmm. Dry skin strikes again. It is like 
just just the water Pokemon killer, but I'm pretty sure fire is really bad um, as a result. I, I know that we lose... Um, I know that with dry skin, you can lose HP... Excuse me. With dry skin, you can lose HP in the hot sun. I don't know if fire moves do more damage. Um, anyone out there that's watching this comment if fire moves do more damage um, with dry skin. That would make sense to me, especially considering water moves are rendered useless. Um, Alright, we'll pop that ponyta. Alright, veteran Brian. Uh, tons of berries. Let's pick them. Lovely. Citrus berries, those are going to heal 30 hit points. Chesto berries, that will heal sleep. Um, Wiki and Aguave berries, I'm pretty sure, are um, poffin ingredients. Which, we, we need to make some poffins. We haven't done that yet. We'll get on that at some point soon. Um, and we have a ninja boy here. Karen works well for me. That's a okay. I'll just fire blast it into oblivion, which we love to see. And then Golbat. Terrible for a hot to go. Um, let's just see if we can land. Ooh, are my are my blizzards gone? No, we're good. Lovely. All right, Ninja Boy Nathan. You didn't expect to, but you did, my boy. Ah, a smoke ball. That's going to let us escape any wild Pokemon that we might want to escape from. Let's go over here. And I can get this item because, again, I'm pretty sure this is a good one, um, if I remember correctly. So if we grab this... Yes, this is the TM for Shadow Ball. I thought it was. Um, that could be very useful. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up teaching that to Vaporeon. Don't quote me on that. It could be good on Togekiss as well. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, let me heal one more time here. Because we can kind of deal with some of the Team Galactic stuff here in Celestic Town and... Um, that'd be great. Lovely. First I'm gonna grab this item. Ooh, a Dragon Fang! Um, that is kind of cool. It's very much kind of like, uh... Uh, Celestic Town is like a town of elders, and finding a Dragon Fang here really reminds me, once again, of Generation 2 in Blackthorn City, where they have kind of the clan of the Dragon Elders. It's a similar energy um, in Celestic Town. And as you can see, this guy is standing by some ruins. Um, there are some paintings of Pokemon there on the wall, and we are gonna really get down to business against this fellow. And we are going to fight him. Um, yeah, I'm going to mess with you, dude. I'm going to mess with you. Because you don't know what you're doing. Hound Hour is fine. Well, let's see. Is this going to completely destroy Krogunk? Uh, no, not completely. All right. Um, and then Golbat. Ah, yes, I forgot to get Pachirisu. But Blizzard will do the trick. If it hits, that is. Oh, boy. There we go. Lovely. Perfect. Pikachu is getting closer to learning a more reliable um, ice move. Too much to handle. I couldn't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be happily rid of this place. Wow. So this old woman comes up here again, said, you are magnificent, aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. This is Cynthia's grandma. And uh, we give the old charm to the elder. 
and it was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? So I think we're going to, um, but I'm just gonna use a super potion because I don't care. But first I'm gonna save, because if I remember correctly, we have a little bit of an encounter in here. Well, actually, that save is fine, but let me grab Pachirisu, because we don't need to go into the defog route again, at least not fight any of the trainers there. Not items. Where are you? There you are, Skitter. Inclusion, thank you as always. Valued member of this playthrough. Um, great. So, we can pop in here. These are the Celestic Town Ruins. And as you can see, there is a cave painting here with three Pokemon with like a red gem. It says, mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere. What is this all about? And Cynthia's grandma is going to come in here and uh, lay some truth down on us once again. This cave painting's meaning seems to be this. There existed beings. Beings so powerful, they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match um, either being. The three kept balance with either, either being as if they formed a pyramid. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who might you be? Ah, we know this guy. He's got blue hair. We don't know a lot of friends with blue hair. This is Cyrus. He wants to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I'm seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want an answer. The worlds today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you're saying? She says, I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. <laughs> Granny laying down the law on Cyrus. It's so funny. I am not interested in your question. It is so savage. Um, <laughs> plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting you've protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Ooh. Yes! Oh, Cyrus has an incredible theme. Luckily for us, Sneasel is four times weak to, uh, whatchamacallit, fighting moves. Wow, that almost killed us, but this will definitely kill it, because with revenge, its power is doubled when we are hit first. Anyway. Whew, that was close. So Hot to Go is not necessarily the most uh, bulky of Pokemon, but she made it. Ooh, and Sucker Punch. This would come in handy. Mm. Do I get rid of Faint Attack? Oh. You know, I have Houndoom on the squad with some reliable dark coverage, so we don't really need Faint Attack. Um, Golbat. Let's switch out and get rid of this noise that's annoying me. We'll go to Pikachu. Oh, finally. Here comes Golbat. All right, let's... Ugh. Of course it hits the Supersonic. Because Confuse Ray is a 100% accuracy move. Like, when you get hit by Confuse Ray, it just is what it is. Um, but Supersonic is not that. Oh, Hyper Potion. I, for some reason, did not see that coming. I forgot that he had those. All right, we gotta hit one more blizzard here. Oh boy, there we go. Perfect, one HP, that is fine. We got quick attack. Goodbye, Golbat. I tell people this all the time. Quick attack, 
when you're doing a playthrough of Pokemon, always, always comes in handy. It's not very strong, but there's going to come a time when you're just going to want to get that last little hit before they can move, and it guarantees it. Quick attack rocks. End of rant. Um, Murkrow here. I'm fine with breakfast. Um, Murkrow might have insomnia, so I'm not going to try to put it to sleep. I'm just going to try to return it. Um, okay. Um, we'll use Skitter. We'll, we'll, we'll go into Skitter, get another knockout. Because Drill Peck shouldn't do too much. It's not very effective. Okay, good. Um... So this is the Team Galactic Boss Cyrus. As you can see, he's got a Sneasel, a Golbat, and a Murkrow. That's not necessarily the most impressive team in the entire world. So we're definitely gonna have more fights with him down the line. Oh my gosh. And we lose Pachirisu, of course. Let's, we're not in the best shape in the world. Let's hope we can land a Fire Blast. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. I was just saying how Murkrow's not too strong, but... Lord almighty. Perfect. Impressive. Your prowess is notable. Remarkable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped, he says. Ooh. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people in Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Tend to agree, Granny. Um, and she gives us Surf, which rocks. Um, this is going to unlock a lot of things for us in the game, kind of get a lot of secret items, and there is going to be an area where we're going to find our last team member. But here we have Granny um, giving us Surf for helping her out here in Celestic Town. But uh, I'm going to step outside here. Oh, and here's Cynthia. Was everything all right here? You saw those strange people with the Galactic Bomb, didn't you? Ooh, she thought Team Galactic was harmless, but now she's trying, starting to think. She's like all these people. They're talking about like starting a new world and all that crap. We don't want to deal with that. Anyway, she says there is a library in Canalave City. And Canalave City is one of my favorite places in this whole game. I love it very much. But, unfortunately for tonight, I must bid you adieu. Um, we are saving a lot of data. Okay. Um, was really happy that we could kind of get Surf and uh, Cyrus in to this episode. Um, thank you so much for being here with me tonight, guys. I really appreciate it. Arena, great to see you. Brody, as always. Um, uh, Mom and Loctas, love you guys. And I will see you all maybe Saturday. Um, we'll see. I'll let you know in the Discord, as always. Um, and again, if you've made it to this part of the YouTube video, go ahead and subscribe. I would like to get to 1,000 subscribers. Again, I'm going to keep saying it. I am planning something to when I get to a thousand YouTube subscribers that I think will be pretty fun. Um, that is not a game, but is related to stuff that we have done on the channel. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great Friday tomorrow and a good weekend after that. Peace, kids.